everyone, Macaron Seed Cup Baby here with a tutorial on how to change your eye or hair or face or whatever texture using a slider or morph. This is really simple to do, nothing to it, hopefully it makes sense and follow along as best as you can. So I'm going to change the texture of my model's eyes, so to do that we're going to find the material of the eyes with PMX Editor. Uh, make sure you click on parts and then right click and check none. And then check this little green thing here, dots, to change the vertices to green so you can see what you're doing. For this model, I'm using 16 and 18 on the mask tab. To get that, just click on the MSK button, and you're good. So now that we have our eyes selected 16 and 18, remember those numbers, or the number. Since I'm using two numbers, I have to remember both these numbers, 16 and 18. You're going to click on, or, um, click on the material, or, yeah, the material. For me, I'm going to click Control to select both the materials. You're going to right-click, copy material parts, copy all parts, click Yes. I'm going to change these to Blue Eyes 1 and Blue Eyes 2. We're going to turn the green thing off. Now you're going to change the texture of your eye, or eyes, or hair, or whatever, to whatever color you're wanting, which I'm wanting to change it to this blue color here. So control C, control V. As you can see here, it changed both my eyes to blue. We don't want that just yet, we want to change it in the slider, so I'm going to click on both of my materials and change the opaque to zero, which changes the eyes back to black or dark color, black, I'm going to call it black. You're going to go to Morph now, you're going to Morph, and you're going to right-click New Material, and you're going to click the plus sign twice, or in my case, four times, and you're going to find the material of your texture change, which for mine is 27 and 28. In the target index, you're going to type in the material you want to change, and you're going to find the original of the material, which is 16 and 18. So for the third one, 16, and the fourth one, 18. You're going to select the uh, first material that you want to change the eye color to. You're going to, under Material Morph, Edit, Add All to Zero, and change the Opaque to 1. Click OK. And for the other material, for the black eyes, I'm going to go to Material Morph, Edit, All to Zero, click on Multiply, and click OK. We're going to change the Japanese and the English name to Blue Eyes, or whatever material you're changing, which mine is, of course, Blue Eyes. Change it to both Japanese and English. If you don't change it to English, you'll get a null. Go to Transform View. Actually, before you do that, before you go to Transform View, do you see how I made extra um, facials with the plus sign? Just delete those plus signs if you're using eye materials. Go to Edit, Morph, Merge Morph with same names, click Yes. And then you're going to go to Transform View to test it out. So blue eyes, the one, I'm going to test the pupils, see if the pupils work, and the pupils do work, yay. So now we know that the textures work, or the slider morph works. You're going to go to the display pane, and you're going to go to number one, or the second one down. On the morph for my mouse's drop down menu, click on the morph you just made and click add. File, save as, we're going to call this... One Dolly Casual, two, save it. And then you're going to open up Mika Mika Dance to test it out in Mika Mika Dance. No, not that. Load your model. Okay. Test the, ma <clears throat> test the material in. Okay, that works. The blue eyes work, see if the pupils work, which I think is over here. Yay, it works in MMD! So that's the basics of how to change a texture morph using PMX Editor. Hope this tutorial helped. If it did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and also hit that bell to get notifications for me. 
and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!